Now I want to talk to you a few minutes about the Word. I want to read some more in the great book of Job and what uh, the Lord is speaking to Job. He's also speaking to us today. And he's asking Job some questions. And during this time, Job is still suffering from the loss of all his family, all he had, and from the sore or the boils that was on him. But it's also at, he was asking Job questions. But the questions he was asking Job is for us today. If we would listen at them. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, it's getting we come to you, Lord, to thank you and praise you for another opportunity to get into your word just a few minutes and talk to those I love to my friends or to whoever is listening to this short video that you let these words sink into their heart and, in, and into their mind and anoint them with your Holy Spirit that we all may understand what you're telling us and listen to the questions and know that God is our only hope and all good things, all good blessings come from God and all that we need. And Lord, we won't forget to give you the praise and glory for it all as we ask you for words of wisdom that help us all along the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, it's still in the 38th chapter of Job. I'm going to start reading. In verse 30, Job, King James Version Bible, chapter 38, begin with verse 30. The waters are hid as with a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. In other words, he's saying to tell you, Job, what's hid from your eyes you can't see, as the water that's hid behind the stone, you can't see through the stone. Or if it's frozen, you can't see through the thick ice. 31. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Now, if you have your Bibles, read along with me in case I mispronounce a word. Because I ain't got a high school or college education. I've only got what God has given me. And I praise Him for that. Because God has got more knowledge than all the schools in this world because he's a creator of all things and he knows all things. Thirty three Canst thou bring forth Mazarus in his season? Or canst thou guide Arestus with his son? 33. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? 
Can thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? No, you cannot. Because God was said, all these are in my hands. He's reminded Job, although Job already knew these things. How many times do, does he remind us of how we need to be walking? And how we need to serve the Lord. And how we need to listen to His words. And not words of man. Thirty-four. Canst thou lift up thy voice to the clouds. That abundance of water may cover thee. Can you talk to the clouds? And the clouds give you hear your voice and give you rain. Verse thirty five Can thou send a lightning that may that they may go and say unto thee, Here we are? No man can send forth the lightning. That we fly, that flashes through the sky during a raging storm. Yes, God's in control of that lightning to where it goes and where it stops. He's even in control of the sound. Now there are certain times when that thunder is rolling through the sky. It makes a beautiful, beautiful sound. That is, that is really music in the clouds that God has put there that we should not worry because He's able to roll all the clouds away that is in our life that comes along that are dark in our days and make them look dreary and sad and lonely. God can drive those clouds away. 36. Who hath put wisdom in the inward parts? Or who hath given understanding to the heart? Who can number the clouds in, wi in wisdom? Or who can stay the bottles of heaven. Man cannot do this. Again, he was reminded Job. God was reminded Job that he was in control of all of this. He's in control of the wind and the waters and the clouds and the thunder and the lightning and all those things. Verse 38. When the dust groweth into hardness, and the clouds cleave, and the clouds cleave fast together, other words, the rain will pack the dust and turn it to hardness, and the clouds hang together. You can't hardly break them, and some you won't break. Verse 40, verse 39, I almost got ahead of myself. Will thou hunt the prey for the lion, or fill the appetite of the young lions? No, you won't hunt the li for the lions, to feed the lions, young lions that are waiting back at his feeding place, or their feeding place. But God feeds all these animals. He makes a way from the house something to eat. But yet they must labor for it. We must also be a laborer in God's vineyard. And asking Him and His direction to show us the way. Then we'll also gain understanding that it all comes 
from the hand of God. 41. Who provideth for the raven his food? When his young ones cry unto God, they wander for lack of meat. Even the ravens, even the young ones, when they're crying for something to eat, God hears the cries of these ravens that's hungry for food. If we we'll talk to him through an humble heart, other words, talk to him, is referred to as crying to him. If we're crying to him or talking to him through the Spirit, he hears us and he provides what we need. We can't say man has made it. Man hand has worked it, fertilized it, and planted it. But God gave the water and God gave the increase. Therefore, today, God still gives the increase. We will plant, but God will give the increase so that man can't take credit on himself for growing something to eat. If we can go out in a garden and get a red ripe tomato, let's thank God for that tomato. Because it was God that made it grow. We labored it with it. We hold it. We fertilized it. We worked up a ground around it. But God, God gave water from heaven. And God made it grow. To, to produce us a good red ripe tomato. Not only to the tomato, but things we need. For necessity of the body, God provided and will provide today. If we go to Him and trust Him, and He feeds many that haven't even asked Him because of His love and His mercy. So let us look at these words that He was speaking to Job and also speaking to us today. And I, well, I think we'll all come up with a better and a stronger understanding of how God cares for His own. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, I know this is a short video, but I thank You, Lord, for these words and love Your words that You have given us. This holy word, Your word, that we can live by, we can grow by, we can stand on it, we can be sure of it. And we can rest assured that you'll do what you said you will do. And you will provide for it seemeth like it's no way you will make a way for us. Now I pray one more time. You heal, deliver, and set free. Bless those that are sick and hurting in pain. Bless those that lost loved ones to the crossing of that silent river that's gone home to be with you. Comfort those that's left behind. Let them know they will meet again. But most of all, Lord, help us to know we are secure in your hands and our home in heaven is eternally secure and sure and we are ever safe in your hands. And we won't forget to give you the praise. In Jesus' holy and wonderful name, we pray. Amen. And thank you, Holy Father, Blessed Father, one more time for your mercy and your love.